Hey guys, Steve with my Hemi's Handmade. So I had some extra veneer rosewood that I'm not going to use for anything, so I think I'm going to try to make a sheath for my draw knife. So here's my draw knife. I usually just leave it hanging around. Here's some of that extra. This is the plywood I used for those phone stand cutouts just a few days ago. And I don't want to waste this piece. So I measured. I think I'm going to try to make it magnetic. So stick around, let's do this. Okay, so my blade is actually around eight inches, so I'm gonna go nine inches long. And a little over three inches, three eighths of an inch wide. So here's the first side cut. My plan is to install these magnets on one side. And this will cover the blade like that. And I've gotta make a connecting piece at the bottom to give this space. Let's go back to the laser and I'll show you how to do this. All right, what I'm using is just some Baltic birch, 8 inch Baltic birch that I had. That's what I buy for different laser projects. And then this is that rosewood veneer I had. And I've already gone into my XCS, which is the full Crew Space. And Basically, I've got some. I've got a rectangle that is nine inches by 0.7 inches thick. Now on the M1, I've got that set to 100 cut power, and then four millimeter speed. And then you always want to do your auto measure. I'm going to go ahead and run that. It takes about three minutes. So. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn on my air assist. And the laser is doing its thing. Okay, so I've marked some hole locations and now I'm going to use my awl. I find that this helps start the drill bit, keep the drill bit in place a little better. Okay, so I'm just using some super glue. Okay, so that's kind of what I'm envisioning. This is the outside piece. And that's, that's sticking pretty well. It's adhering pretty well. I just like to use some CA glue and activator for little projects like this. When I went back this afternoon, it still wasn't holding well, so I added some regular wood glue and a couple of pin nails because it still had a gap on one edge. I'm happy with how this project turned out. It's my first time doing it. I think I'm going to make one out of leather as well. In the comments, please let me know if you'd like to see one made out of leather using my laser. Thanks for watching and subscribing.